Hey, what's up everybody? You're watching Veracity Trigger. We are playing Brigadine. And you are watching Zemeckis attack Fazard. This is Fazard, right? Yes, this, this is Fazard. And we're coming up this way to attack Prince Lance. Yes, we are. Well, I am mainly. <laughs> yeah. So... Ooh, nice attack there, but I'll take some of that back now. Yeah? It's a good portion you got back. Of course. You got a Death Needle. He has a Vampire. He's got Melgant with him. Uh, what is that? Who is that? Is that Sierra with him? Is that Sierra? <clears throat> that is Sierra. Yes, that is. She went there. She didn't come to my team. She's supposed to come to my team. Oh. I guess she doesn't like Drist. She will never go to Drist, apparently. Yeah. I should have got either Jamfit or Sierra. I didn't get a single character when Kai was knocked out. <laughs> Not a single one. Neither one, neither did I. Yeah, they went somewhere else. Driss is... Because you're supposed to get Jennifer when you win. I yeah, Langoborg would go to anybody. Because anybody... Nobody wants to take him anyway. Yeah. Big stinky whiff there. If you attack the if you attack the vampire, you're no. both gonna gain hit points from each other. I know, I one. That'd be funny though. Perfect! I just wanna kill something off instead. You didn't get any hit points off that? No, all the way. I just fast forward to it. Oh, you must have got hit points off that. The lower stroke. Okay. Now, what a lot of people don't know is a lot of this game has a lot of heavy references to Arthurian legends. Because there was the death of somebody from the Dolores Stroke. Yes, Balin killed Balin with the Dolores Stroke. Uh, Balin killed his brother Balin. Logres is apparently in the middle of England, I think, from the Arthurian legends. Uh, and that was where the capital was. Yes, I think was the capital. Calcent was also a capital uh, city. It was, yeah, it was, it was another castle part. Um, what a lot of people don't know is the old uh, Gaelic word for Excalibur is called Calibog, which Vinard actually has. So he has the Calibog, so he pretty much has the Excalibur. So I almost think that they kind of made this game as sort of a predecessor to what people might imagine the Arthurian legends were based on. So initially Vinard has it, and as time goes on, he gets passed along to King Arthur, I think. Mm -hmm. Not totally sure, but it's just my imagination, you know. Yeah, okay. well, that's a good assumption. There you go. Are we doing this today? <laughs> we are doing this today. Yes, <laughs> holy word. We got a lot more guys. So we yep. them. I think you're gonna get that death needle and a vampire. Oh, absolutely. I don't think they're getting out of this one absolutely. alive. Absolutely. Those are the two main guys you want to kill. Oh, yeah, I think you could. Of course, the critical. Definitely okay. a critical. Regular? I'm not sure. His attack's okay. He's really. Fenrir's are really more based on evasion. Yeah. It's kind of like okay. this so thing. Who do I have left? Shoot the vampire. Yep. That's what I'm going to do. Or the dragon. Nah, I can't kill the dragon though. There can be only one. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Unicorn attacking. I just want to try it. I'm going to get 80 something off you. Yeah, 86. Okay. I would have just went with this guy. I don't know why you did that. Okay. I wasn't thinking about it at the time. Yeah, you weren't thinking, that's for sure. Well, I don't think. I mean, it's not you know, in my nature to think. He doesn't think, he just does. It's not in my nature to think. I don't think, I just do. Yeah. That's what's wrong with me. It's not bad, because you can go out there now, protect the unicorn. Because you want to stay back and I just laugh all day. No, no, no. We go out and protect our own. You sure about that? 
I want you to have some. Buddy. Thanks, Emma. Go kill something. I didn't kill some just yet. I didn't kill a couple of guys already anyway. though. I think they made the uh, Shoguns a little too powerful in here. Yes, it's a Japanese game, but they don't have to throw it in our faces that the Samurais are powerful. We know that already. Okay? Great. <laughs> they made them way too powerful because the original one, they had either the Samurai or the Shogun use Aya Slash, but it used MP points. And now what they got to do for the Grand Edition version was take away the MP pool that either of them have because now Aya Slash is free. You know, so you already got a guy that has 25% magic reduction, can evade arrows, has high evasion already, has high defense, has high hit points, has high attack. It's way too powerful. Just, just way too powerful. So, that's the end of that. Uh, and my little rant, too. <laughs> but, uh, alright. So, we're gonna end this up, go to the map, show you where, uh, where we are on the map, and then uh, you will have to watch the next video. Thanks a lot for watching all the way through. If you have... So... Let's see what you leveled up. Anyway, let's go to the map. Hey. I don't think there's any more attacks. No. Nope. I don't think they'd attack us, because there's really nothing ripe for them to attack. Not really. Mr. Clown Monk came back. <laughs> uh, usually if I play Drist, if I play a, a game files Drist, I will level up Gallo, and you'll see he's pretty good. Um, but uh, Victoria came back. This is Teeth for my team. Yeah, so you don't need to wear your dentures anymore now. Yeah, my dentures came back. <laughs> he's my dentures. He's my teeth. His name is Teeth. Yeah. You didn't know. Here. Okay. So here's where we're at. I'm going to send my defensive team here from Goomber to Jukes. And my buddy is. I don't know what you're going to do. So you're going to probably attack here, I guess. Yes, I'm going to attack Calmer and send a defensive team to Fazid. Mm -hmm. Yep. And then so the defensive team will come here, and we're pretty much just going to crush. Uh, Zemeckis' army is going to crush all the red here while I'm crushing all the blue. I don't know if I'm going to get all the way through the blue, but I'm going to get far. I think I'm going to get here. I think we're going to be uh, posted up here at, um, what's this new castle? Soriston? Yeah. Yeah, this is Soriston. Because if I look at the original map, this is not in the original map for the original Burgundy game. This is, this is Grand Edition. They added an extra castle. And the reason they did so is because we played multiplayer. There's... From the original game, there's 40 castles, and you play multiplayer. You could tie 20, you can, and 20. Yeah, you can tie, and then nobody's exactly the winner. So they add an extra castle. It makes can, sense. Yeah, so 41, so you can be 21, 20 now, if that, if that's how it goes. Yeah, I don't think they should have added in a Vinar territory because you already had a lot of assets. Yeah, they yeah, shouldn't have. Yeah. They should not have put it there. I think the Give person that needed it should have been Drist. Well, he starts but at I don't, six, though. I know, but either I, Kai, I, think, I think here would have been good. Somewhere here. Yeah, but I think good. either Kai or Lance, because they only start with five. No, but Kai's already alive. See the alliance there, just because of that? Oh, no. Possibly. But because Driss is in a horrible position. The queen already has natural defenses on Hadrian and up here. So she's fine. But they should have added a castle here for Driss. I, I think that's where they should have put it. Not here. Byron already had enough castles as is. Yeah. It just gave him a whole nother one. You know, he who has more shall be granted more, or something like that. But here's here's basically the points. Um, I'm close, but he's still ahead of me. Probably will always be, because <laughs> you know, just do one for one will always be kind of like that. So, thanks a lot for watching, everybody, this video, and we shall talk to you later. See ya.